Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira service management tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the service portal or help center that you are seeing, how we can customize it, right? So this is basically by default, how your portal will look like to the customer. But say for example, you want to customize it, add a logo and want to be very specific about what customer sees on a particular portal, you can go ahead and customize it from the project, right? So this this is the project right so rcv academy it service management project and submit any of the requests so how we can customize the look and feel of this particular portal that customer is going to use for logging in the request we'll go to the service management right so and this is the project for which we want to update this portal okay so we'll go back let's say we go to the project so rcv uh, it service management we'll go from uh, straight from there okay and then you have to simply go back to project and you have to go to go to the project settings right in the project settings if you scroll down you will see the portal settings is there okay so i'll scroll down here you will see uh, somehow it is loading portal settings so simply click on portal settings and it will open the portal configuration okay so let me minimize this you will see few of the details here are the details that you can't update for example this is inherited the url you can't change it rename it or delete it right so basically you you it is inherited so this will remain as is but you can change all other information so for example service project information right the name say for example i want to change so i can simply say for example rcv academy i want to remove it so i can simply say rcv academy service management or whatever name you want to specify here you can update the introduction text here, right? So I can change this text and I can say, you can raise the request for our Civic Academy service management using the options provided below, okay? So I can update the introduction text and then I can also add a logo. So I'll simply click on add logo. I can drag and drop the photos here or uh, the images here, or I can upload a photo. You simply clicking on this upload a photo and it will open the location from where you can drop, drag and drop the photo here or select a photo here. So let me drag and drop a logo here. So simply I'll drag and drop and you'll see the logo has been updated here. I can uh, zoom in, right? So you can zoom in zoom out here when you are satisfied that yeah this is the image that you are looking for simply click on upload and the logo will be uploaded i'll save the above changes that i have done i'll click on save button here so name and introductory text is also updated logo is available to delete the logo you simply click on delete current logo and then announcement section right so here you will see there are options yes agents can add announcements to this portal okay when we say announcement on this portal if you see if i click on customize here you will see portal announcement right so you announcement will appear some at the top and you can add the announcement who can add the announcement that's what this setting is all about so can the team agents add the announcement if you simply select select on yes here agents can add announcement to this portal agents will be having access to add the announcements but if it is no only the administrator project administrator will be able to add the announcement right so keep it to no which is default functionality because if you give access to say for example there are 15 20 agents working and everyone has the access to add announcement and they start adding announcement then you won't be able to prioritize what announcement goes and uh, at, for what duration etc right so this project administrator who service team lead will be able to manage the announcement perfectly fine there okay uh, and then you can basically there are multiple other customization options which i'll discuss in the advanced section wherein you can create a custom issue type and then also have a custom request type available on the form okay so there are more customization options available as well so this is the basic customization of the portal if you go to the portal group section here okay the second tab you can see that you can create the group right so what is the benefit of group so it will help customers find the right forms quickly by organizing your portal group so you can add the forms into the groups and forms that aren't assigned to a group will be hidden from your customer portal okay so you can create a group and assign the form and if the forms are not assigned to the group they will be hidden from the customer portal so you can have multiple forms for example if we so if we see here in the general group you will see that these are two forms that are 
add it to the general group okay so i can go ahead and create a new group and associate more forms okay or i can add a new request form here itself in the general only then that form will be available here okay so this is the benefit of adding group so i can create more group and within the group say for example let me go ahead and quickly create it so i'll say test group okay so i've created a test group now if i say add a request form and let's try to add a email request to this particular group okay and save it so now because there is a test group okay and a general group so there should be two groups available to the customer and first group general will be having these two forms and test group will be having the email request form so let's go back and see the changes have been reflected or not okay so let me refresh it and you will see now the logo is appearing the heading has changed the description has changed right and then i have groups here okay so general group has if customer clicks on it they'll see two options here okay two forms are available and test group has so if i go to the test group you will see email request which i added a email request form to the test group is available here so the benefit of this is that if there are many forms right that you have created then easily you can group those forms together in logical way by creating these groups okay and if you do not want any form say for example there is a form that you do not want to add in any of the group if it is not added in a group that form won't be visible okay so if i click uh, delete this form say for example okay oh sorry added test group okay so just the group is there now let's go back and refresh this customer portal so now because there was no form in that particular group that group itself is not available here okay so only if the forms are added in a group it will be appearing if you do not want to display any form you don't add it to the group okay and that form is not going to be visible so if i click on add a question here okay so in the second group only add a question should appear and no other form should appear the email form that i added that should not appear right so you'll see ask a question in the first group submit a request or incident and ask a question is appearing right so this is basically how you are going to customize in a very quick way the customer portal setting so in the portal configuration you can do the the name introduction test text logo manage portal announcement etc and then in the groups you can customize the group and add the forms accordingly now the other advanced configuration about this portal is that you would be doing a lot of other configurations for example i want to add new forms here okay i want to add a completely from scratch a new form with a new issue type so for example all the laptop related issues okay i can customize the back end or the workflow that is associated to this uh, to, to the new issue type so i can do all of that through, through the administration section and i'll cover that into the later videos but this is very quickly and a uh, basic customization of the customer portal settings adding the logo etc and making it look more related to your organization's theme and logo so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching